I shared a thrift haul here on YouTube probably about three and a half months ago now of items to sell online on eBay and Poshmark. They're all items that I had thrifted at the Goodwill bins. I'm gonna share in today's video what has sold and what has not sold from that thrift haul since I thrifted and listed those items online. First two items to sell from this haul were these Lululemon high-rise full-length leggings and it was two pairs, both in a size eight. And I could have listed them together, but I just decided to list them separately. The first one sold in two days for $34, and the second one sold in four days for $28. I made $25.28 on the first pair, and then $20.48 in profit after fees and cost of goods on the second pair. This item I sold from this haul was this Eileen Fisher Organic Cotton Pullover Turtleneck Top in a size extra large. This sold on Poshmark for $25 and that left me with $18.08 .08 in profit, and it took two days to sell. It was a pretty quick flip for an Eileen Fisher item for me, but I do think that the organic cotton factor helped, and then I also listed it in December, so turtlenecks, December, good time of year, seasonality for that to sell. Then the next one took a tiny bit longer to sell. It took 76 days, so still decently quick but nothing majorly fast. It was this Carhartt hickory striped long sleeve harbor shirt in a size small and this sold on Poshmark for $20 so that left me with $14.08 in profit and I want to say thank you to the viewer who told me to add hickory striped in the title to describe those really thin blue stripes on the the button-up shirt so thank you for that all right next is this pair of aviator nation logo sweatpants in a size small these sold on poshmark for 70 dollars and they only took one week seven days to sell that left me with 52 dollars and six cents in profit and i don't think i need to spend too much time talking about aviator nation because when i see it i pick it up and it is a good flip every single time. The next sale was actually over on eBay and it was this pair of Warriors of Radness Active Surf Swim Shorts. I thrifted these for just under $2 and then sold them on eBay for $38. So that left me with $29.68 in profit and those shorts took 42 days to sell. Warriors of Radness was a new to me brand and one I will definitely continue to be on the lookout for. It was a pretty quick flip and left me with a really good profit. And also it was a sale on eBay, which I absolutely love because they are few and far between, although they are kind of picking up a little bit. I'm spending a little more effort over on eBay. Okay, and then the last item to sell from this haul before we get into the items that have not sold is this Tory Burch striped floral underwired one-piece swimsuit in a size extra large, and this was a great find. I was super excited when I found it just because Tory Burch is a great designer brand that I love to find and flip online. So that sold for $68 on Poshmark and left me with a profit after fees and cost of goods of $52.48 and it took 16 days for that swimsuit to sell. And it also sold in January. So you never know when a swimsuit will sell. It could be in the winter, it could be any time. Okay, moving right along to the items that have not sold. So. Want, want. This was 18 items total and 11 have not sold. So definitely a majority of this haul has not sold. But let's run through those 11 and I'll share a couple just ideas on things I could adjust in my listing to hopefully get them to sell, you know, here soon. The first one is this pair of Viore Relaxed Fit Jogger Sweatpants. And Viore has been doing actually quite well lately. So I really thought these sweatpants would do just as well, but unfortunately they have not. So I think just taking a look at the listing that I have them priced quite a bit too high. And I think I'm probably gonna, you know, relist them, lower the price to somewhere around 35, 40. And there's um, a good chance I'll actually add elastic waist in the title because I did hear somebody recently say that that helps their items, especially on eBay sell better. So I think I will lower the price a bit add elastic waist in the title. I could potentially come up with a couple additional keywords, maybe athletic, athleisure, um, loungewear. I think just a few little adjustments in that. Those sweats hopefully will sell because Viore has been doing pretty well lately. The next item that has not sold from this thrift haul is this Hannah Anderson Dragon Zip Up Coat 18 to 24 months. I think I'm probably going to lower the price a tiny bit, maybe list it at 25. And let's see, 
this is an organic cotton. It's 100% cotton. Maybe I'll add the word cotton in the title. Could also add outerwear. Potentially see if I can find a stock photo or something to show it being worn, which can definitely help. And it does look a little funny on my um, adult clothing item hanger. It just really, so, you know, a couple things I could do. Maybe take a new photo, uh, find a stock photo, adjust the title, lower the price a little bit. Hopefully then it'll sell. Next up was this pair of Anthropology Pilcrow in the letterpress straight leg moto jeans. And this I actually probably should have left behind because it is the older Pilcrow and the letterpress tag. They have dropped the and the letterpress and it's just Pilcrow now. So that could be partially why it's not selling. I also don't know that the style is the most on trend, but I think that one just could be one that might take a bit just because it is an older style. I'm trying to think of what some better keywords could be for this. I guess it is kind of an army green, so maybe I could put that, although it's sort of like a gray green. I don't know, let me know if you guys have any ideas for keywords for this pair of pants, because I don't know. I put moto jeans because those zippers gave kind of the motocross moto vibe. So let me know if you have any ideas on keywords, but I think unfortunately this is just a little bit of a maybe outdated style and I might lower the price to $25, potentially adding a couple different keywords in here. But I think this one might've just been a bad pickup if I'm being honest. This item from this haul that has not sold is this Urban Outfitters Don't Tell Graphic Anime Shirt. This I think actually will sell, but I do think I might need to change my cover photo I scroll down to the photo on the back. I think I should actually highlight this graphic instead of the cover photo I currently have just because I think it'll actually be a little bit more enticing, a little more exciting of a, an item. So I think I'll do that. I'll probably in Canva take a new um, cover photo, remove the background, add a shadow. That's how I do my cover photos relisted. I think the price is fine, $25. I would love to get right around $20 for it. And there's a chance I should, you know, could add some more better keywords. I might take out the don't tell part just because I know that's what it says on it, but it's not, not necessarily something someone's going to search. So I might take out don't tell and just make it like Urban Outfitters graphic t-shirt, oversized shirt. Um, something like that. I do think this one will sell. It does have a little stain. So, you know, that never helps an item, but I think a couple little adjustments, changing the cover photo, adding a couple keywords, taking a couple out, relisting it, that should do the trick hopefully. But some items definitely do just take longer and seem to be a little bit less desirable than others, so. The next one was this pair of Madewell Classic Straight Leg Jeans in a medium wash, size 32. These are a very good style, straight leg, good size, probably priced a tiny bit too high. Might need to like lower that to maybe around $40. And I expect to get right around 35 to 40, somewhere in there. So that's probably what I'll do, lower the price a little bit. And I do think I could find a stock photo for either the cover photo or for a photo later on to show how the jeans are worn. I don't think I have one, no. But that's probably what I'll do. There's really not much else keyword wise I can think of to add for jeans other than the descriptions like straight leg, medium wash. I could say high rise. So I'll probably actually add that to the title and relist it, see how it goes. Sometimes Madewell jeans do take longer than other times. Some styles like the perfect vintage jeans seem to do really well. So maybe a straight leg is just gonna sit a little bit longer, but I do think they will sell. I don't doubt that they'll sell, but it's just more a question of how long and how much they'll end up selling for. Next item that has not sold yet is this Sundance Ruffle Swiss Dot Lace Button Front Blouse Top in a size large. I currently have this listed for $38 and think I'll lower the price a bit, maybe $30 and could add some different keywords. Potentially could add cottage core. It's definitely a white feminine, you know, lacy kind of an item. So I think cottage core could be a good 
keyword to add. I could add feminine. But other than that, I think I'm gonna keep it the same. The stock photo or the um, cover photo looks good. Lower the price a little bit, add a few keywords, relist it. Seems to be the theme on these items is lower the price a little bit, adjust some keywords. You know, simple things, but it definitely can help an item sell. And at the end of the day, you want your items to sell. You don't want to just hang on to them. So any little tweaks you can make, I think can be very helpful. Okay, the next item is this Guess Originals Graphic Logo Multicolor Striped Crew Neck Shirt. This one, I have priced too high. Just, I can right off the bat see that this is priced too high. And probably list it, relist it at $25. I think the word, the style core kid core is kind of coming to mind by looking at it with the, all the colors. So I could add that. Could also add colorful instead of multicolor. Otherwise, I think it looks fine. Um, I do like the cover photo. It's a size extra large. Let's see, is this, it's not oversized. Yeah, I'll probably just add a few of those kind of style core words and then see what happens from there but i do think it's priced a bit too high and i do ex i do price my items expecting offers or expecting it to sell for a lower price not at that price but sometimes my starting price when i look back is a little higher than i probably should have started it but you know, can always adjust it. The next not selling item from this thrift haul is this Woolrich Aztec print button front shirt in a size men's extra large. So this item is listed at $30 and I'm gonna keep that price there. I think that is a good starting point for this item. And Woolrich items do typically for me sell between $25 and $35. So I think $30 is right where I'm gonna leave it. What else could I add for this? Maybe Southwest, it's kind of a Southwest sort of a print. So that's something I could add. Could also add the word collared. I think that sometimes adding, like emphasizing that it has a collar for some reason does help an item sell. So I think those are a couple updates I'll make. Keep the price the same, add in Southwest and collared. Could add in cotton as well, it's 100% cotton. And relist it. When you relist your items on Poshmark, they do show up as a newly listed item. You have to wait 60 days when you relist on Poshmark, but it does help the item kind of get fresh new eyes and show up as a new listing. So that's something I definitely do with my listings every so often. But just a little side note there, if you are newer to reselling or, you know, Poshmark, then I definitely recommend relisting your items if you make adjustments, but just note that it has to be at least 60 days if you relist on Poshmark um, for it to show up as a new listing. The next item in this haul that has not sold yet is this J. Jill Linen Gingham Sleeveless Top in a size large. This one is, I think, going to stay right at that price, $25, and I could highlight that it's 100% linen rather than just saying linen, so I might add that into the title also say check print or checkered instead of just gingham and could add scoop neck could add tank top instead of sleeveless top so a few things I could kind of change around looks like this item is getting a decent amount of attention so I definitely think it will sell and we're obviously just now heading into the warmer weather so I think it's not an indicator that it's necessarily a bad item to have picked up since it was listed in December and hasn't sold, but I think that's just an item that hopefully will sell. I'm guessing it'll sell right around $20, and hopefully once I update the keywords a little bit and relist it, it'll have a better chance at selling a little quicker. Plus, just seasonality-wise, I think it is a good thing to keep in mind that some items might take longer to sell just because they were listed in the season that less people are looking for that type of item, so they have a little bit of a lower chance to sell, potentially. This next item that hasn't sold was this pair of Levi's Premium Wedgie Fit Distress Jeans in a size 30. These ones, I think I'm gonna add high rise into the title, forgot to highlight that. And let's see what else. 
could lower the price. I think $50 is like a decent price to start them at though. And I would expect them to sell 35 to 45 or so. That's an item that sometimes flips pretty quickly, sometimes doesn't flip as quickly, kind of just depends. I could also add button fly into the title just because I know some people search for that when they're looking up jeans if they specifically want it to have a button fly. So that's something I could add. We'll definitely add high rise and otherwise just relist and wait it out on that one. And then the last item that has not sold yet from this haul is this pair of Vince high rise straight leg workwear pants. These ones I have listed at $65 and I think I'll probably go ahead and lower the price a bit. Maybe price them at 50. I do think 65 is a still very reasonable price for these just because I'm sure they cost like 300 plus dollars originally but doesn't necessarily mean they'll resell for a decent amount and I might just need to really find a stock photo because sometimes with pants it's really hard to highlight what they look like or for the buyer to get a good idea or really want them when you just see them like hung up so I think I might need to find a good stock photo for these and maybe I'll lower the price a little bit but otherwise I think they look pretty good could also add the word I don't know do people look up the word slacks anymore is that even a I feel like I never hear that word anymore slacks I guess they're, these are trousers so I could could also use the word trousers this item has no likes on it either so it's not seeming to be the most desirable so I think having a stock photo actually could really do a lot for these pants hopefully that'll get some eyes on them and get them to sell. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a very good rest of your day and I will see you